Hey, welcome to the Entrepreneurial Summit. And today with me, I have Gary White. Now, Gary White and I go way back. Why? Because he had to educate me. This is the man, the book funnel formula by Gary White. I was, he was a referral. Somebody said, Janine, if you're wanting to really get your books out there and work them, you may want to talk to this guy. And the guy that referred to us was Mike Capuzzi, the, the man that was behind Bite Size Books. So Gary's with us today to talk about what book funnels are for the first time author, how you go about building these things and how you build them without it costing you an arm and a leg. Thank you for being with us today, Gary. It's lovely to have you back. No problem. Thank you for having me. It's, um, <laughs> hopefully I can deliver some value from what I've got going on in my brain. So we'll see what you, always, you always deliver value. The man <laughs> just opens his mouth and, uh, and stuff comes out. I learned so much about marketing just running through his program. And at the time, it was several thousand dollars to run through the program, but I was a total noob. I, I saw it as a semester tuition at a university, and Gary delivered, so did his team, and I learned a lot. So anyway, if you don't mind walking us through those beautiful seven steps that your book talks about, <laughs> that would be delightful. <laughs> Well, the, the big thing when we've been working with authors, I guess, is that most authors run into at least one of three key problems uh, when they are trying to monetize their book, which, of course, what the, the whole summit is about. The first one being that you they've got a book, but no one knows about it. The second one being that they their book is selling, but they have no idea who's buying their book. And the third one being that people are buying the book, they're loving the book, but they're not able to get them to take the next step with you in terms of buying your products and services and, and all that good stuff. So that was essentially why I came up with the formula for the, the book funnel formula in terms of allowing authors to take back control of the sales process to be able to combat those three issues that they had. And essentially the, the main problem that they have is not when they're not in control of the sales process. Typically, what we've been told as authors is put your book up on Amazon and make it a bestseller on Amazon. And that's kind of like, okay, great, you get the accolades and you get the badge of being a bestseller on Amazon, but how does that directly relate into income, essentially? And so what we do is allow the author, as I say, to take back control of that sales process through a high converting book funnel. And that allows you then, if you're in control of the sales process, you get to keep and collect the customer data. So your reader data as you're selling your books, you get to keep that data, build your reader database, and then you've got a direct line of communication with those people. And it also then allows you to take a leaf out of Amazon's book, which is um, when someone purchases one product, they offer additional product products to the buyer but they don't share any of that additional revenue with you. So if you've got your book up for sale on Amazon, uh, you might be going to the checkout, someone's going to order it, they go to the checkout, then it says people who ordered this also ordered this, and it'll be like someone else's book or maybe like um, other products that are complimentary and things like that. So we thought, why should you be making Amazon more money? Why don't you set up this process to be able to make, um, make more money for yourself? And uh, also to be able to give your readers a better experience, right? Because a lot can come from just the book, but if you've got other ways that you can help someone, especially in this day and age with all the technology that we have, and um, if you can provide additional formats to be able to help someone and then be paid to do that as well, um, it becomes a no-brainer both for you and for the reader coming through. So things like I know you're excited to talk about today, Janine, uh, order bumps. So this is where on the order form, if you've got your own book funnel where you've taken control of the book sales process, and then when someone's going through to order on your book funnel, you can have a little checkbox just right on the order form where you can say to someone, you've got you the physical book. Would you also like access to the digital book today for an additional charge? And that's such a no brainer offer for someone. You don't have to think about it. You don't need to have lots of fancy persuasive sales copy. You don't need a sales video, any of that stuff. It's just a very convenient, very easy way to increase the average order value of each individual reader that's coming through. And of course, it makes it a better experience for them if they can get immediate access to the information rather than waiting for your book to ship. And even if you're not doing physical books, if you're just selling ebooks, for instance, you can do it with the audio book and you're just switching the formats around, but you're essentially increasing the value of every reader that's coming into your process. 
And with the, the order bump, you then have the opportunity to give them a, what I call one-click offer or upsell offer, all in this immediate initial transaction. And that can be things like courses, uh, additional resources and power packs, uh, roadmaps, all this kind of thing that's going to deliver that additional experience as well. So um, the, the book funnel formula in general is broken into three phases. So it's the acquire, the liquidate and the ascend stage. And that is essentially the process that we bring people through of step one, acquire, get the book into someone's hands, get, get someone that you know is interested in what it is you do, get the book into their hands. Step two is the liquidate stage. So this is where during that initial checkout, you offer them your order bump, you offer them your one-click offer, and you're going to increase the value that that person's worth to you. And then step number three, the ascend phase, that is or phase three, the ascend phase, that is where you want to have some kind of back-end offer in place, which is your real profit and revenue driver for your business. So a lot of the time with clients that we work, it is often like a coaching program. It could be done for you services or another one that's um, really big now. And I'm really starting to push because I feel like any author can really do this is memberships, reader memberships. So kind of regardless of if you have uh, um, what your book kind of what industry you're in and um, who your audience is, there's always going to be people that want to get closer to you and what it is that you have to offer and your like opinions on things and also to have community based on this the subject matter of your book, essentially. So even if you don't have a high ticket coaching program or you don't offer services that are worth thousands of dollars, what you, it's really easy to monetize your book with uh, a reader membership where you can charge 10 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month to then have people as part of your club. And that comes then off the back of you having the customer data because you had your own book funnel. So essentially, that is the three steps of the or the three phases of the book funnel formula. And um, at the summit, we can break that down into the individual seven steps of exactly how we bring that all together, and what each of these offers kind of look like. And I'm, I'm very excited to, to share that. And so am I. And so if you're not aware of Gary White, I want you to look into his book. We're going to have the order form on the link below this video. And if you want to know, the book that he helped me with was author podcasting, be a standout guest while taking your book on a virtual tour. And he helped me create products and on the back end services and media kit really helped my people. He helped pull that information out and put it in front of my readers for me. I'll always be grateful for Gary and his team as they help me. So if you wanna learn more, make sure you come to the summit so that we can educate you on processes and systems that work. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye now.